So in the article, uh, you can see that I wrote that uh, not everyone's skin tone is perfect, which is uh, absolutely true. So if we just zoom in a little, we can see the variation sort of around the cheeks and, and so on. So to even this out, uh, you've got some choices. You could, of course, go into Photoshop and do some work there. But if you're not so skilled in Photoshop or don't uh, have the time, uh, then it's much easier and quicker to do it in Capture One. Uh, to achieve this, we need the color editor and most importantly, the skin tone tab. I'll just reset that to take anything away. Uh, how the skin tone tab works is that we decide on a, a reference skin tone and then we equalize everything to that. So in the skin tone tab, you'll see we have the uh, pick skin color correction as the help bubble says. So if we take that and then we need a reference skin tone. So I'm going to choose sort of around here where it's looking good and then expand this out by dragging the outer edge to cover all skin tones. If it's easier, make the color editor tool larger, then it's uh, simpler to adjust. Now the dot in the center that indicates our picked skin tone and then we've got a range of all possible other skin tones that we want to equalize in the wedge here. Now what happens is, is when I drag these sliders to the right, everything in this selected area will get transformed to the picked color. So if we drag hue across, you can see what happens. If we drag saturation across, you can see what happens. And lightness, you can see what happens as well. Now the negative effect to this, if we back hue back off, is you can see that it might affect some areas that we don't want to be affected, like uh, the lip tone color, for example. So that's why it's always best to use uh, this skin tone uh, trick or uniformity trick using a local adjustment. So I'm going to reset all of this, drop that back over here and go to our local adjustments tool tab. There's already a couple of local adjustments here, one that just brightens the background a little and one that just lightens the eyes slightly as well. So I'm going to make a new layer by clicking plus right here and saying new layer. And I'll call this skin fix like so. And before I do anything else, uh, I'm going to fill the mask. So this means that the whole layer becomes active. So if I press M on my keyboard, that's the mask over uh, the whole image. So now if I find the color editor here in the local adjustments tool tab, go back to the skin tone tool, pick my skin tone picker, choose my decent skin tone. I can expand the full color range out. I can even just make it a bit bigger if I wish. And now I'm going to bring the hue all the way to the right and the saturation to, to some extent. I'm going to leave lightness alone because I don't want to lose the modeling uh, of the image. Now, once again, you can see it's affected the lip color. So what we really need to do is rather than having the mask over the whole image is that we need to selectively brush it in. But the reason for starting with the mask over the whole image is that we can see the effect of what that layer is doing. So if I turn this off, you can see uh, the skin fix working quite nicely on the cheeks in particular. So we now need to brush this in where we want it. So what I'm going to do is invert this mask back, but we still keep our adjustments that we're happy with. We're going to pick a brush in the local adjustments tool. Right click, make this nice and soft, a little bit bigger, and keep this a slider, the flow nice and low. This means that when I move the brush back and forth, it will build up the mask gradually. So it's not all or nothing, all in one go, it's a gradual build up. This just gives us a bit more control. So now I can just brush in the areas that I wanna fix my skin. Uh, I'll make this a little bit harder just so I'm not going over onto the lips. And then we can just brush in nicely anywhere that we wanna fix quickly and easily like so even over here on the ear there was a bit as I seem to remember and that's pretty much it so it doesn't require any Photoshop skill pretty quick and easy as you can see if we turn this layer back off again then you can see the color change if I turn the layer back on then we're nicely corrected 
And if you want to moderate this slightly, we could just grab the hue slider, take that back down, move it back up. If we wanted to play with lightness, we could, but in this case, maybe just a tiny bit. If I press M on my keyboard, you can see the mask that was created. We can always clean it up a little bit more if we need to as well. So very simple and easy to do, uh, much uh, quicker than going uh, into Photoshop. Doesn't really require any special skills, just a little bit of masking and some color picking with the skin tone editor.